Okay, this is the uh, um, second video in um, Risk Press Gallery in Sebastopol, California, uh, the end of December 2011. Uh, I have a one-man show here. My name is Stephen Fitzgerald. I'm a metal sculptor. I live 100% on commission work, so I'm one of the lucky ones that actually can survive on uh, the product of my creative line. Half of my pieces are made on speculation, uh, figure work and abstract, and this like this, and then half of my income is done on site-specific design and fabrication of decorative arts items like uh, driveway entrance gates, railings, lighting, candelabra, anything that, that has a function but must be beautiful also. And since I design and fabricate, that means I get a lot of repeat customers because it's like one-stop shopping. Got an extensive website, which I'm sure I'll post on here. Anybody can get in touch with me for this kind of design and fabrication work. Uh, anyway, I wanted to talk today at this point in time about this piece I've just finished, which is a cetacean vertebra in stainless steel. Uh, uh, my father was a master sculptor back in East End, basically trained me as a child and um, on a, I had a long circuitous route to, to um, he was fairly well known and I came out to California to get away from him I was raised on the coast of Maine and he was well known back there and I kind of wanted my own territory so I came out to California to go to college and uh, during my time away from him during my time away from him, uh, ironically, I also decided to become a sculptor. So I've been doing this since I was 24, and I reconnected with the old man. And, and uh, when he passed in 2004, we were best of friends. So that's a whole other story, but that's, you know, thank God that happened. But when I was a kid, he carved a whale vertebra about the same size out of wood. And it was a totally beloved piece in the house. It was on the dining room table for, I don't know how many years until somebody finally purchased it. But from the moment I saw that, I, I loved the form, but I also saw it in stainless steel. So this is the final culmination of about 40 years of trying to, to gain the mastery over the medium to be able to make a fabrication that's as difficult as this. Because there's no straight lines, I mean, it's one thing that it's stainless steel, and that's a difficult material to work with, but this form is has no straight lines, so all the symmetries involved in it have to be done by eye. Um, I did have a, uh, a small uh, dolphin vertebra, about this big, that I used as the model. The toothed whales, the dolphins, and the, and the whales have similar shaped vertebra, so I, what I did was I scaled up from about a five inch dolphin thoracic vertebra and to this stainless steel piece. There's about 20 pieces in this. This is all wire welded, stainless steel, MIG welded. And I've used paper patterns to do the various parts and then, you know, had to weld it all together. The vertebral body has a textured surface like humans, whales and dolphins have discs between their vertebra. And just like humans, when they get old, they get stiff and their, their vertebra fuse together in their neck. So there's some very similar similarities between the cetaceans and humans. I have used the MIG welder to put a series of weld beads on the surface to give it that textured look. So anyway, this is a piece I'm, I, it's, uh, it took me about a year to do and uh, I finally completed it for this show and I'm just uh, proud of it. So here you are, there you go.